Hey guys, what's up? This is uh today I have some new news about the Demon Souls remake. So apparently now they came up with a, a digital deluxe edition, which I think initially the pre-order for the game included the Reaper Scythe, but then they took it out. But now it's back and it's included in this uh, digital deluxe edition that's going to be $90. It would have been nice if they announced this digital deluxe edition alongside the uh, normal edition that they put up for pre-order so that way people could have just bought the deluxe digital edition right away instead of now having to cancel the original one and then buy the new one but it, it, it doesn't matter that much so when we look at these bonuses that they're available with this deluxe edition we can notice that there are two new sets that were not available in the original game because a lot of the armor sets you had to like find them and you couldn't like loot them off of enemies so first off, we have the Red Eye Knight Armor, which is basically the armor set of the Red Knights that you will see in the Boltarian area, especially in the first area. If you try to go kill that knight, it probably will kill you with like one or two hits. And they're more like prominent or available in the, towards like the last areas. Then we have the Boltarian Royalty Armor. When I looked at it, it kind of reminded me of King Alant's armor. I mean, it's a little bit different, but kind of the design is very similar to it, I guess. It's royalty, so it has to be the same. Next up, we have the Hoplite Shield. I mean, this shield was available in the original game, but you could not use it. I mean, you could see it, but you couldn't equip it because it was, it was attached to this enemy that looks like a slime and it had a spear that would attack you. Next up, we have the uh, Ritual Blade, which is a new weapon for the Demon Souls remake. This weapon, you could actually see it in Demon Souls PS3 version. It was wielded by the yellow annoying skeletons that you would find in Shrine of Storms. I mean, this is pretty exciting news because if these weapons are available, that means that there's a chance that we'll be able to use other weapons or we'll have new weapons that we couldn't like farm or obtain in the original game. So I'm pretty excited to see what, what they will come up with next. And then after that, we have the original soundtrack of the game, which might include the original soundtrack plus the new soundtrack that they have for the remake. Next up, we have a couple of consumable items, which are the souls that you can actually use to obtain souls. <laughs> so we have the Legendary Soul, Renowned Soul, Stored Warrior Soul. There's one thing that I noticed. If you played the original Demon Souls, uh, there was only like Soldier and Hero variations, but now we have Warrior Soul. So there might be a chance that this is just a different name or it's just a new item that they've added, like a new different variation of the souls that you, you can use or consume. So if we go based off like the uh, PS3 version, the Legendary Hero Souls gives you about 10,000 and the Renowned, I guess if we say Warrior or Soldier, it would be around uh, like 800 or 1,000. And then the Stored Warriors, Warrior Souls probably gonna be like 2,000. I mean, they're pretty decent items. I mean, honestly, like I would hold on to them and not use them right away because there's some weapons that you could actually purchase later on in the game that are pretty decent. So next we have the Longevity Ring, which is possibly gonna be a ring that increases your maximum health because in the original Demon Souls, we had re the Regenerator Ring, which like increased your health like every second. And then we had the uh, Kling Ring, which basically increased your health by 40% when, when you were in soul form. Then we have a, a set of new items that were not available in the original game, which are called grains. So we have three types listed here. We got Preservation Grain, Phosphorescent Grains, and then we got Bear Bug Grains. I mean, we have no details or information about these items yet, but I mean, there's only like a couple possibilities of what they could be. One is they could be an item that applies some kind of enchant or effect to your weapon, or it could be an item that increases your resistance. So in the PS3 version of Demon Souls, there were these annoying enemies called bear bugs. And if you play it, these, these guys like take basically very low amount of physical damage. And the only way you could kill them was either to use poison or there was a, like an enchant that you can apply, I think it called like enchant weapon, that you can apply to your weapon. And basically what it does, it increases your damage against things that have hard scales. And then usually like in Demon's Souls, the phosphorescent or fluorescent was usually tied to like magic. You had those like fluorescent slugs that you would kill and they would drop the sticky white stuff where you could use that item to enchant your weapon with magic. So who knows, it might be a buff or it could be a, something that increases your like resistance to magic but i mean there's already other spells that do that or other things armors and stuff but who knows it might be something completely different as for the preservation grains i'm not sure what that could be could be anything at this point it's just that we don't have enough details about these things next up we have the large heart stone and then the Moonlight Stone Shard. So basically, this kind of confirms that we're going to have the same upgrade system that we had in the original Demon Souls, which was a very uh, tedious 
system and like in terms of like obtaining the items or even understanding it because there were like different variations of upgrades and you need a lot of time to spend on like finding all these materials especially like the famous you know the pale stone yeah hopefully that would be something easier to obtain in this game I mean, there are a lot of things that we don't know about yet. Like we don't know about the multiplayer system or like the online PVP and all that stuff. Then we also don't know about like the spells in Miracle. Like we haven't seen what they look like in the remake or like how do they look like in the next gen, you know, version of the game. But who knows, we'll see with the coming weeks. So if you, if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.